is going. All right. So today is episode two slash one of the Breaking 150 project featuring Stephen St. John up there. You know, um, you can show the, you can show everyone who's filming the beautiful cameraman. Turn this for fast. Brendan Faulkner. Um, we had to scrap episode one of the uh, Breaking 150 project because we had some uh, video formatting errors. So now we're uh, catching up with the hill session today with Steven. <laughs> <laughs> say hello, Steven, say hello. Hello. You know, I always thought, you can't call it sweat elite if you're not sweating. Hey, we're not sweat elite. <laughs> That's okay. copyrighted. We're uh, we're actually underground track club now. It'd be more like sweat novice at this point. Yeah. Until Talon really gets a hold of me. I went with this hat today because I accidentally wore Adidas and Adidas, so I thought I'd go with Adidas for the hat. And it really doesn't fit me well. It keeps flying off in the wind. Uh, so that's why I'm running like this. Okay. I thought you should know that. It's tight the back, man. I actually wore that hat this morning. No, I know, but my head's so small that if I tighten the back, there's not going to be any more of the female end of the Velcro. Is that what it's called? Is that the scientific name? No, I guess he doesn't know. We're good. I got the rear view mirror. <laughs> All right. All right, we're good. I'm wearing calf yeah, sleeves right now against my own will yeah i slapped Salad him on him me. we had a little uh tender shins um also for some context of episode one since i i feel like you the audience has seen it but you actually haven't because it never got released um we actually ran a time trial last week a 600 meter time trial um ran a 120 ish hand time you know plus or minus half second whatever um and he went out in a 24 24.5 ish and it, it hurt but you know his fitness is looking great right now we're uh running about 25 to 35 miles a week focusing really on intensity and efficiency and that's exactly what we're doing today which is why we're heading out to the famous uh allendale bowl um in beautiful west michigan to get in a speed and a speed hill session uh, speed endurance whatever you want to call it basically we're going one minute Two times one minute up the hill with three minutes recovery, two by 45 seconds up the hill with three and a half minutes recovery, and then um, two by 30 seconds up the hill with four minutes recovery. So just like 95% and higher intensity, just really focusing on that turnover up the hill. Um, we're about two months out. Actually, it's today. You know what today is, Brendan? October 7th. Today is the 7th. So we are um, two months and two days out from the December 9th meet, which is where Steven, my little guinea pig, is gonna be peaking um, to run the 800 there, hoping to run under 150, and ideally break the GVSU school record of 148.62, set by Dennis Mbuta. Um, but that's a ways away. We're just building the fitness right now. Um, and we'll see if we can go, yeah. Steven, how you feeling? Good. Feel good? Just ate some peanut butter toast. So, nice and fueled up. Um, glad to be on the soft surfaces. Get that impact low. Let me show you something not many people know. See how we're on a dirt road here? Many might think a dirt road of soft surfaces, yeah? Yeah. Look straight down. That's not soft surface. That is not. You gotta go to the shoulder of the dirt road. Get that cushy stuff and that's the guys over all the time. That's the soft surface you're looking for. Otherwise, you might as well just run on the sidewalk. Do you want me to do an up tempo or not? Just do an up tempo when you get to like 
the opening over there. Just, it's up to you. Just, just a little bit. Yeah. Start when you get to that uh, blue trash can on the right. Okay. And also, um, for some context, context for the viewers, um, Steven is a former Grand Valley State University track and field athlete. Um, he's a junior now, and, his, and um, he departed from the team his freshman year. And freshman year, his PR was, I believe, 152.01, and he ran that indoors. So we're hoping to drop that time by at least Two, two or more seconds come December time. Really good idea. Really good. Looks looks so bad. I think it looks dope. You got a quote of the day for the camera? Yeah. Why would you do a three mile warm up for a sprint workout? That's dumb. <laughs> Colors. It is nice. Sorry, 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 sorry. Backwards lunge with the pause. Backward lunge with the pause. You don't see the pause if the rough doesn't count. No, it's pause. Oh, oh pause. <laughs> with the pause. Dude, or the trees are like so nice. Backwards lunge with the claws? <laughs> with the talons? <laughs> yeah, I guess I never even had to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Talon Knopf. I am also a um, former Grand Valley State track and field cross country athlete um, in my junior year as well. Um, hoping to coach this boy up to um, fast 800. Right here, we're doing some pogos just to get that, that neuromuscular connection firing, those fast twitch muscles really activated, making the ground contacts as short as possible. Not going for height or distance really, just keeping them toes up. The dynamic uh, underground track club warm up that um, uh, changes every time. Very so dynamic. what's the name of this track club? Underground track club, uh, UTC. Uh, the one that P's a part of? No, that's a nameless track. Oh, nameless track. okay, okay. Yeah, backwards short, backwards long. And we focus a lot on um, a lot of backside mechanic stuff with Steven since um, he relies on his quads a lot to run. So he doesn't get a lot of that um, hamstring, ex that hip extension in the back. Um, so that leads to a whole slew of injuries, hence why he's wearing the shin sleeves right now. A little tender shin. Um, but yep, just focusing on prevention versus rehabilitation. Wow, it sounds so soft. Right? <laughs> With my Hoka fifth and eights. Yeah, look at this. This is literally... Yeah, it's actual. I just couldn't go here because I know I want eight. This one karaoke is. And then, after, and then after that one, the Fortnite emote. Frick. What? <laughs> the floss? The fort. It's not a floss. I, I'm not going to perform the Fortnite emote one for you. Um, Steven will for the camera. Um, shout out to Lakes Community High School Cross Country. Uh, my alma mater high school, I guess, where I ran at. Um, some of the kids uh, over the summer, they uh, named it the Fortnite emote. So... I'm not going to demo it. <laughs> Steven will. I will make Steven do it. We'll be back momentarily. Ah, yes. The Fortnite emote warm up. We'll let you chill for a sec, get some knee pulls and quad pulls. And then make sure on the knee pulls you really get up on the toe. Okay. 
Hey, Skips. <laughs> oh, hold on one second, I forgot to do it. Get that foot out in front of you more. There you go. You should just trespass. It's a little simpler. Oh, underground track that doesn't have <clears throat> fees to pay for the fines. <laughs> <laughs> The program has been Currently, shut down. Collective, collectively, underground track clubs income right now is roughly $80 a week. Um, Where is this $80 a week coming from? Um, Subscribers? Peer tutoring. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Um, and that's combined, by the way. Um, <laughs> hey man, no, no need to uh, shed light on the fact that I have no job. Hey, I mean, mine barely counts as a job either. Can you imagine having and people pay a, to watch these videos, <laughs> let alone just trying to have them watch them for free? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I wonder how many views we're going to get within a month on the first one. At this least video. Free. You Guys, good if we get more than... <laughs> if we get more than... How many views? Five. No, not five. It's too low. Let's say... A hundred. A hundred. If we get a hundred views in one month... We'll do a, a squincher uh, squeeze giveaway. A squincher squeeze giveaway. <laughs> We're gonna give away an entire pack of squincher squeezes. Electrolyte which popsicles. Are electrolyte popsicles, courtesy of Reginald Richmond um, <laughs> and his mother. Um, yeah, only if we get a hundred views in a month. Uh, are we doing? Right? <laughs> yeah. Two. Uh, as many as you need. Any final thoughts before going to this workout? Can't be worse than Hill Circus. Can't be worse? I agree. <laughs> Can't be worse than the bull. Um, no, it is the bull. This is our beautiful hill that we're going to be doing. You'll see more of it once we get down there. But uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. We'll yeah. meet you guys down there. I went to high school around here, about 10 minutes away. We used this bull in high school too. So, uh, we have a hate-hate relationship. <laughs> I, uh, I, I thought I destroyed this when I quit the team, yet I did not. All right, we're gonna, it's like we're gonna start rep one um, on you whenever. Um, just one minute up the hill, 95%. Keep it smooth. You got it. Did you say push out? I quit. <laughs> Push out, be smooth. You zooming in? Slowly. How's that? I don't know if you want me to rock, walk or jog. I mean, as long as you get to the bottom before time's up, then that's fine. It's three minutes or two? Three. Okay. <laughs> that, that was the whole hill, plus a little more. Okay, that's fine. And for the same. Do you want to start like a video up here now? Yeah. I already started the mailbox so I can like, I don't have a ton of flat at the top, or should I just do the same? Whatever you're comfortable with. Go, oh, Steven! Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up! Stay relaxed, you got it. Look at this cool black squirrel. Any comment? It's beautiful. <laughs> Dude, hills destroy me. Hey, I've got uh, 45, 45, 30, 30, that's it. Uh, Hardest parts out of the way, I think. 
I was gonna run this workout to um uh, beforehand to uh, get a gauge of how I was gonna feel throughout. Then I was like, nah, never mind. <laughs> so I didn't. Instead, I did three miles easy instead. What a great coach, right? Let's pick it up, Steven. You got it. Let's keep it up now. You got it. Keep it up, Steven. Good stuff. There it is. Yep. How you feel? Legs are a little, a little cementy, but you know we're... Hey, all you got is one minute, to, one minute volume left. Surprise set, five minute or... <laughs> Surprise set, three circuits. Let's go, Steven! Let's go, Steven! Last rep, come on now. Let's go, Steven! Now what? That's it? Cool down action? Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll get up there first. Thing. This hill is mine. <laughs> No, no. Oh, no. I guess so. Another solid day. Hey, did you get that? Let's redo it. <laughs> Thanks, coach. Thanks, athlete. <laughs> Got a couple photos of it, too. How's the shins feel? Well, warm. Good. I got the sleeve in. Good. Couldn't have done it without you guys. <laughs> so, we'll yeah, so, uh, walk us, walk us through, walk us through for uh, how you uh, how you felt, start to finish. Well, at the start, I felt not good going up that first hill. So my body was uh, not thinking it was gonna go up a hill today. Thought it was a Friday. Thought we were just gonna go to an oceanography lab and call it a day. But that hill kind of, uh, you know, got a little lactic going in the glutes. Second hill came around, much better. Felt loosened up, uh, a little more smooth up the hill. The, the last little stretch on the cement was somehow the hardest. Um, and then the uh, 45 seconders were great. You know, the last five seconds is kind of a grind. In 30 seconds, I felt smooth. So, uh, got a little headache brewing, but <laughs> that's pretty typical for a speed workout. So, uh, yeah, overall thoughts, it's probably like a seven and a half out of 10 difficulty as far as, um, as far as, um, you know, not wanting to do anything afterwards difficulty. That's usually how I gauge it. The other day we had a, uh, what was it, the uh, K's? with uh, 200s after, 200, 200, 200, and uh, I couldn't walk after. <laughs> My cool down was this. Yeah, he, uh, he barely made it back home to the apartment from the track. So that's what I give probably a 10, 10 out of 10. You're gonna be, you guys are gonna be able to see one of those workouts in the next few weeks. Uh, we're gonna have him be doing VO2 1200s this time. So yeah, if I don't throw up after, or, it's nine and below. <laughs> I like that. I like that scale. Also, I should probably work on my diet. As far as a pre-workout diet, I ate a piece of peanut butter toast today so far. Um, 
So, I mean, I don't know where you were at. I mean, for just waking up, you know, less than 90, about 90 minutes ago, you'd yeah. say. I'd well, say that was a great session. Um, putting the pieces together. And then you can see how, uh, just another perspective of how big the uh, hill really is. Yeah, like he got out there, he ran, and uh, yeah, he ran. You know, we're just taking it one day at a time right now. Um, a at a time. I'm, um, I'm gonna assume next next workout he'll also be running, Man, and yeah. it's gonna be good. Yep. Any thoughts, uh, Coach? I, I I can agree with those uh, after said statements. Um, the next workout probably will involve running of some kind, uh, <laughs> and it will be a uh, workout. Um, with Steven in it. And he'll, he'll be ready. So get excited for that one. It's good to hear, Coach. Any um, any post-workout thoughts, ideas? Your program's coming along. You see your athletes shining. How did they get to this level? Um, Really just tailoring to what each athlete needs, you know? Steven, uh, the more and more I watched him run over the years, the more and more I realized that his, his, uh, his top end speed really needed to be harnessed. Um, and just nurtured and we can see with the what what <laughs> nurtured because we, nurtured. As we a can child. <laughs> we can see uh, as an infant in a that, cradle um, that his his infant speed has been nurtured we have been doing we have been do eh. we've had him do, been doing flies uh you know once every two weeks trying to get that max speed in um keeping up strides keeping that fast switch going uh, making sure we're staying fast all the time instead of uh at the end of the year but um yeah, that's really what we're doing. Um, we're gonna get some water in Steven, get him some food, and then we'll catch you guys on the cool down in a minute. Remember on that, you're gonna say, hey, this guy's running for him, looks weird. I have to agree. <laughs> I've never actually seen myself uh, run on like a warm up or cool down until the last uh, that time trial when they took a video of me and I looked like really goofy. So, probably you know, I'm right there with you. I just can't help it. It's my natural running form. Hey, don't be worried about it. Uh, that form, not. Everyone's form looks weird when they're warming up and cooling down, you know? If coach is uh, fine with it, after class, I was thinking about hitting up the climbing wall. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it passes by with me, as long as you don't get hurt. Okay. Fun fact, I've actually had a head cold for a pretty solid three and a half weeks. I mean, it hasn't gone away, right? And pretty much every single morning I wake up coughing, um, but, I would like to prove through these workouts that you are, are able to work out when you're sick. Even though you might not get better after, <laughs> you can work out. Yeah, uh, Underground Track Club is looking for um, a sponsor for our singlet. Um, right now, we only have one potential deal lined up with Gildan. Um, Gildan Ultra Cotton, you know. Um, you know, we're, we're waiting. We're waiting. Hopefully, by the end of the season, some of the big names will reach out, like you know, Nike, Adidas. You know, hoping some of those guys on maybe. You know, we're just hoping, just hoping, because um, right now with our expenses and all that, we really need sponsorships. You know. He's gone. The 
track club is now down to zero members. Uh, we are looking for new uh, applicants. That's all we got track club. Oh, he's back. He's returned. Sorry, I just had to stay on the soft surfaces. <laughs> yeah, I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. Stephen, what time are you at? 10 minutes and 27 seconds. Hmm? All right, so Steven has about five minutes left to just cool down. Um, we're going to uh, end the video here. Uh, thank you guys for joining us today. We're going to catch you next week, hopefully, with... Um, I have to check the schedule, um, what we have to do. But it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. He's going to be running, as promised, <laughs> um, as long as he doesn't get hurt in the next few days. And, yeah, Underground Track Club, baby. So, see you guys later. Welcome back, Lamb. Okay. Say goodbye, Steven. <laughs> Toodles.